Hi everybody, Mary here from A Recreative Life. And today I'm doing a really quick um, cook video. Um, I'm making Hershey's chocolate sauce. This is like a, uh, a copycat recipe that I got, I think, online years ago. Um, but uh, they say that, I, I always have to adjust my recipes, you guys, because it's always, it always seems like there's something in everything I can't have. And I, I can't have chocolate. Um, and for years, I didn't have any. Well, gee whiz, I, I crave chocolate. And, and I don't usually miss it, but in the summer, I really do, because I like to have hot fudge sundaes. And, oh, and it's summertime. It's July 2019, and I am really, I'm sorry, it's June 2019. We haven't hit July yet. Uh, but anyway, I'm really craving it. And I've tried this recipe using carob. I did a little bit of a research on it and found out that carob is just like chocolate, except it's not chocolate, and, and it tastes just like chocolate, and it does. I can tell you that it does. It acts a little bit differently when you cook with it. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> It, it does the trick for my cooking, so that's what I do. Um, this calls for Hershey's, you know, the powdered chocolate. You know, when I did eat chocolate years ago, I used to always have on hand that great big honking um, container of Hershey's chocolate powder. You know, the powder that you can get. I'd get like a Costco version or a Sam's Club version brand uh, uh, size of it and always have that on hand because I loved chocolate and so did my family. And anytime you make anything to go anywhere, people love chocolate stuff. So it was always good to have on hand. Well, now I get the carob and I go to my natural food store right here in town and I get it there. It's kind of pricey, but it doesn't, I don't care. I, I don't have it very much and I only crave it at certain times and I'm going to get what I want. It also calls for sugar and I don't like to eat plain sugar. I try not to eat plain sugar. I try... I always usually eat Truvia. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Tru I, I, I'm not promoting a brand or anything. I'm just telling you what I use. I use Truvia because it's half stevia and half uh, sugar. Um, full strength stevia to me is just too the fakey tasting. I, and it's all natural. That's the odd thing about it. But it's nothing I, I'm used to. It, it has a weird aftertaste. So anyway, I find Truvia is good because it cuts that sugar in half. And you, you can you you literally, they tell you to use half of whatever the recipe calls for. Um, well, I even cut that down, and I don't even use that much. I, I, I don't like anything super duper sweet. Calls for vanilla, but you know what, you guys? I looked through my cabinets before I did this video, and I used vanilla because I've used it in this recipe before. But look, I've got caramel, caramel flavoring. I've got almond. Almond would be really good with that. Um, there's a butter flavoring. That would be good, even just with the chocolate and vanilla. You could add butter flavoring, too. I might try that next time. And coconut. I've got all these extracts, you guys. Wouldn't that be great to put um, in that sauce? The caramel one would be so good. Caramel chocolate. Yum. That would be fabulous. Um, so, you know, adjust. Adjust whatever you guys uh, want to try. It also calls for a dash of salt, and you guys know I... I'll say in the video, you'll see the video, um, I always use Himalayan pink sea salt. That's the only thing I use. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, in my grinder, I use Himalayan pink sea salt. But in my regular, you know, where I scoop it out with a teaspoon when I cook, um, it's sea salt. Uh, but either way, I use sea salt and that's the only thing I use. So uh, this is a great recipe, you guys. I love it. I have been in seventh heaven. I just found it this year and I've stopped eating chocolate for probably five years. And uh, like I said, I don't usually miss it all that much, but in the summer, man, I really do. And I, I feel like I, I've got a, a second life because I've discovered some chocolate thing that I can eat. Um, it opens up a whole new world to you guys. So I hope you like the video. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here is the chocolate sauce. Hi everybody, today I'm getting on to show you guys all how I make um, a chocolate sauce. This is a recipe I have for Hershey's chocolate syrup. I have no idea where I got this recipe, but it was in my recipe box and I want to make some. I've got some homemade ice cream and I'm out of chocolate sauce, so I want to make some chocolate sauce. Now I think I've told you guys before, I cannot eat chocolate because it gives me migraines, but I can eat carob. And carob to me tastes just like chocolate, um, but for some reason it's not uh, it's not chocolate. It's something else. But anyway, this is what I get at the natural food store, and um, it does require uh, a half a cup of chocolate. 
Now I'm not really sure if, um, I will tell you, this sauce that I'm going to make comes out a little differently. I'm not really sure if it's because I use carob. Um, I also use Truvia as a sweetener rather than sugar. Uh, so it could be a combination of those two things. It's, it was quite watery last time I made it. Um, didn't bother me. It still tasted fantastic, but uh, it is quite watery when I do it. So, um, so just to let you guys know, I, you're gonna, I'm showing you guys how I do it, but uh, it is quite watery. So anyway, it calls for a half a cup of chocolate, of carob. Um, and uh, when you use Truvia, you have to use half of what it call, what the recipe calls for, because it's it's actually half sugar and half, um, excuse me, half sugar and half stevia. So uh, it calls for a cup, so I'm using a half a cup of the Truvia. And I always use less sugar in my recipes. Anyway, I just, I just don't like that much, um, I just don't like that much sugar. And so, let's see, I'm trying to soften, oh. I guess it says to, cocoa sugar and salt in the saucepan add the water and mix bring to a boil allow to boil one minute be careful not to boil over remove from heat and then add the vanilla so the vanilla needs to go be added in at the very end um, but I do need to add the water and I am going to go ahead and use the complete and what they ask for for water calls for a cup of water so I'm going to do that it also calls for a little dash of salt, so I have to get that dash of salt in there. Uh, just to let you guys know, I use pink Himalayan sea salt for everything. All right, so I'm gonna shut the camera and go to the stove. All right, guys, so I have, I'm at the stove. Uh, I'm just starting to stir my stuff up. I have got the heat on quite high. I put it on eight. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to kind of gauge it. It says the instructions say to be careful, uh, you know, let it come to a boil, but be careful that it doesn't boil over. So I'm hoping that that won't, that heat won't be too high. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I've made this a couple times before and I love it. Um, this weekend I had a family part. Whoops, got my hand in the way guys. Sorry. I had a family party this weekend and I made a blueberry cake um, and also my son had a birthday this weekend so I made a, uh, a blueberry cake and I split it up into two pans, one for my son and one for the party and um, it's a bit dry even with my ice cream. So I serve that with cake, ice cream and then I thought this chocolate sauce might add a little to it. I do have some homemade ice cream in the freezer. And um, so anyway, I just thought I'd have some chocolate sauce. It's summertime, and I do like to have uh, some different, um, you know, I like to have ice cream on hand most of the time. And if I'm going to have ice cream, well, I want to have some chocolate sauce. So, um, and it, I will say, like I said, it kind of, the carob acts a little different when you're cooking with it. It acts differently than cocoa. So I'm not quite sure what I need to do different. Um, but uh, definitely is, is, is not the same as, as chocolate. Um, but anyway, we'll see. This is also really good with fruit. I mean, uh, you know, pour it over some tropical fruit or it's really, really good with strawberries. If you guys, it's almost strawberry season here in Maine. So, uh, you know, if, uh, You've got some fruit around. This is a good thing to have on hand. I put it right in a canning jar and keep it in my refrigerator. And just use it as I go. And it makes a pretty good sized batch. I mean, I just added a cup of water, so. Um, I think I'll shut it off until it gets uh, a little closer to being done. Okay guys, so it's off the stove now. Um, it came to a boil, <clears throat> excuse me, and I let it boil for one minute. Actually a little bit over. It seems quite watery to me, so um, it's probably just going to be watery again this time. But So I'm adding the vanilla. And that's the last ingredient I need to add. Okay. You know, I don't see any reason why you couldn't add almond or cherry or uh, any other kind of flavoring that you think might be nice in here. 
but I think the vanilla is going to, it was good the last time I made it, and I'm eating it with vanilla ice cream, so, yep, that's perfectly fine. And that's all my directions say to do, so I guess that's it, guys. I'm going to let that cool down just a tad, and then I will jar it up. All right, you guys, there is my chocolate sauce. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you try it. Um, and I hope you uh, like, share, and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.